last summer when he came to Honesty, that's behind. Mm. Uh, his mother, uh, he was like a puppy dog. He was so small. He was really? like only 10 days old when he came. Only last year? Yeah, last wow. summer. And now, fast. yeah. <laughs> so Vipa and Konsti, um, they have a sad background. Mm -hmm. It was a dairy farm uh, and it was a neglect case. So the farmers hadn't fed them properly mm -hmm. and all the cows were ordered to be slaughtered. Mm. But um, the farmer went so felt sorry for Vipa because she was pregnant. Mm. So she was hid in the woods when the uh, slaughter truck came and uh, she was hiding there. And then they brought her back in and uh, started to give her proper food. And with the authorities, um, with their promise and their cooperation, um, it was agreed that they can be rescued and they can be brought here. Uh, usually you can't move like uh, calves that are so young, you can transport them. Mm. But they were given the permission from the vet and uh, from oh, the yeah. police yeah. authorities. So um, when he was like 10 days old, um, they were brought here. That was be before midsummer last year. Oh. <laughs> what kind of a fox is it? Oh, uh, also yeah. both are Arctic foxes. Arctic. Arctic foxes. Arctic, yeah. Polar whales yeah. for yeah. And they um, are this color mutation. So in the nature they're uh, almost completely white. But these are the foxes that the fur farms have been breeding since the 1920s in Finland. Mm. So it's like an artificial thing that they have this color. Um, it's sort of darker grey in the summer and in the winter it's lighter grey, like all of a sort of silver thing. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, they're both out of foxes and that's why we know they're from a fur farm because they don't live in the nature. Mm -hmm. There's only um, a handful, like five Arctic foxes in Finland in the wild and they live in Lapland. Mm -hmm. And they haven't been they're very endangered and they haven't been able to breed mm -hmm. for a long time. Very social animals. Yep. Seems like to be Curious. Like <laughs> What's the name of uh, this guy Otto. again? Otto. He seems to be more curious than yes. the other fellow. And and that uh, name? Unelma. Unelma. Dream. Dream. In mm. Unelma. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> so there's five of them. Lilli, Papu. Boy. Lilli, Papu, Siri and Sara, who are sisters, and then Osku. Uh -huh. And they live here, the five of them. Mm. And where are they from? Um, well, Osku is a wild boar. These are Lilli and Papu. Oh, that's Siri. Um, who, who's this? Siri? I think that's Siri or Sara. It's a bit hard to tell because they're all muddy now. <laughs> There was a last summer there when the, we had the open doors, there was one man and he was like coming to me like, why is that go follow with me? <laughs> like, <laughs> and I said, well, she wants you to catch her. <laughs> and he very slowly like. Soon though we might mate for them. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, you it's a bit tight. You have to stay here. Oops, not too wide so they go. Yeah. It's yeah, no 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 no. Up 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 up. up, up. Like you're eating a rock or something. <laughs> yeah. It's not very tasty. Can you hear me saying live here? It's an Indian runner duck. So when she goes outside, she goes like <laughs> really long, funny, oh, running, wobbly yeah. thing. And she loves it. Cool, of course. <laughs> 